I am finally, <laughs> I'm finally joining the YouTube community. It's been a long time coming, but I'm grateful. I'm glad that I was finally able to, you know, start officially creating content. Hi, my name is Nana, Nana Scott. I'm a nurse. I'm also a health and wellness coach. And like I said, I am thrilled to finally be doing this. A little nervous, but you know, it's my first video. Eventually, I'll just be like, you know, a YouTuber. <laughs> so my, my goal is to empower women. My goal is to empower someday millions of women to prioritize their health through self-care, nutrition, and fitness. So this is my very first video, and this video is just introduction, um, talking about me and how I even became a, a health and wellness coach and why I started a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, story time. I have a glass of water here because my voice, no one told me that being a YouTuber was this, um, this intense on, on your throat. I feel like I've been talking for a really long time now. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm originally from West Africa, a country called Liberia. My family and I moved to Minnesota, the cold place, when I was like eight years old. You know, I grew up with a, a, an amazing family. I had great friends. But when I turned 20, I think it was like 19 years old, when I just felt stuck. I just felt like I was stuck in this little town and I just, I wanted to get out. So I begged my parents and by 20 years old, I got accepted into a, a school in Los Angeles and I moved. And that move was by far the best decision I've ever made. I moved at 20 years old, no friends in Los Angeles, no family. It was pretty much just me and God. But I became who I am today. I was able to build and create this woman that I am today because I was on my own. And once you, you know, you're thrown out into the world to fend for yourself, you're pretty much, you know, you become a survivor and having God for me was the biggest blessing of my life. I started fashion school. I started styling celebrities. I got a really good job um, as an assistant for this big celebrity stylist. Um, it was going great. You know, I was, I was meeting a lot of, a, a lot of celebrities. I was, you know, at big shows and whatnot. It was literally me living my dream life. So why, why leave my dream job? Why leave something that, you know, I, I literally flew to Los Angeles to become a stylist and I finally had the opportunity. Why did I leave it? Mom, why did I leave it? <laughs> no, I was failing. I was failing in school. I wasn't, I didn't have time to do my homework anymore. I didn't have time to study anymore. I was coming home at like 12 PM, super exhausted because 12 PM for me is really, really late. It's like, it's really, really late. My bedtime is nine. So it was either I stay with this job that's going to, you know, get me somewhere really high because I was already going into that direction or I leave that for now. I focus, focus on school. And then, you know, once I have my degree, I can go back to it. And my mom, my mom made me, she told me that I had to stop doing that and focus in school. So I let go of that and I stayed in school. I stayed in school. I graduated and then I actually started styling of my own. I was styling for this reality um, TV star. I won't say no names. Everybody knows her. her. Her boyfriend or her baby father is extremely big. He's a musician. We all love him. Um, I, was, I was working with her. I styled her for a couple of events and whatnot and you know things were going great i this was my life i was in los angeles i was struggling because i had no support um you know in the in the state but i was living my dream i was like amongst big people that i used to like sit on the couch and watch on tv i was actually working with them that was like it was so awesome for me so i kept doing that and I kept building my brand. I kept working with other people, photographers, models. Life was good. And then something happened. As a stylist, you have the opportunity to go to any showrooms you want to go to and pick pretty much whatever outfits you want to pick out for the person that you're styling, if they're you know a celebrity or whatnot. So the lady that I was styling, I was her stylist. I went to a couple of showrooms and I picked up dresses for this event that she was going to. 
because I guess she was, a, you know, she was a celebrity, she felt like she could do whatever she wants. So the dress was about $5,000. To you, that's probably not a lot of money for a celebrity, but for me, that was a lot of money. Anyway, um, she wore the dress and she ruined the dress. I didn't know it was ruined until I picked it up from her house and I went to deliver it back to the showroom. And they're just like, oh, Nana, this dress is ruined. You have to pay the $5,000 for the dress. Where? Where? And for me, that was such a dramatic experience. I, I didn't tell my mom because I, I was an adult. I had to take care of it for myself. So I handled it. Let's just say, you know, everything's taken care of. But I was so traumatized after that event. I was just like, you know, I have to create my own path. Because if I'm looking to have to please these people because they're um, reality stars or whatsoever to get my next check, it was just too much for me. So I started a clothing store and then I went to nursing school. I sure did. <laughs> oh, wow. What a time. Okay, yes, so I did. I went to nursing school. For the record, I was going to nursing school so that I could start making money so that I can fund my store. I never cared to be a nurse, I'm so sorry. My sister's a nurse, I mean, it's, it's, it's the family business, whatever, but I didn't care to be, like it was just never my thing. Who would have thought? I went to school and I actually started learning, like I actually started like enjoying learning about the body and how it just, everything just works together. It was like the coolest thing and I'm just like, oh wow. I, I didn't think I would like this. Like I actually loved learning about, about the body and blood and how everything works, especially the blood part, the heart. I just, I loved it so much. That shaped me into becoming a whole different woman. The things that I learned, just I just became different. I just saw the world differently. And I remember my first part-time job that I got was at this weight loss clinic and you know, I was a new nurse and so they were just trying me out. <laughs> that sucks. Anyway, so I actually loved it. I, I, I didn't think that, you know, there was a clinic, an actual clinic where women are being thought to take better care of themselves. Women are being thought on like the side effects of eating bad, the, 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 the benefits of exercising and taking care of your body. I just having so many women walk into my office and asking me questions and I got to help them become a better version of themselves. And I was actually helping myself from all the things that I was learning. Who knew? And this world, this world was different. I, I didn't have to worry about walking in the room and someone was acting stuck up and bougie. Don't, don't get me wrong, I love the fashion industry, but this world was, let me help you better yourself and you help me better myself. Let's empower each other to become the best versions of ourselves through self-care, through fitness, through nutrition. I was really, you know, helping women, instead of looking good in a dress, you know, I was helping you overall. That was like the, it's the coolest thing. I loved it, I loved it so much. So it just, that's just how I started. I just started, um, become, I, I became my health and wellness um, coach at the clinic and I was just like, I wanna do this on my own time. I wanna help women, I wanna open my own business, I wanna start doing this every single day. It was pretty cool, pretty cool. But that dream of being a health and wellness coach did not start there. I left that job, I left that job, and I became a, a case manager for a home health and, and hospice company. Um, pretty much just whatever patients the doctors are giving you, you're making sure that that patient is actually being taken care of. I was overseeing nurses in the field to making sure that they're actually providing the care for the patient. Loved it, I loved dressing up in the office, I loved drinking tea in the morning, it was sensational. And then there was this day where one of my nurses wasn't feeling well, but she had a patient to go see, and she asked if I can go and see the patient. Why would you ask the case manager? But I think as a case manager, that was my job to like fill in when a nurse wasn't able to go into the patient. I went, I went. And that day, 
changed everything when I actually met the patient. This patient that I saw was on hospice and she was dying. And obviously I've read her file, so I know what was going on, but it's so different when you are actually there and talking to the person and seeing them laying on their dying bed. This was different for me. So I'm talking to this woman and you know, where she's just telling me about her childhood. And then she made a statement and she said, one thing I regret was that I never took my health seriously. She said, if I would have just actually prioritized my health, if I would have just gotten the, the education that I needed to become a better woman, I wouldn't be here laying here dying today. And I was just like, that's, that's any of us, right? Literally any of us could be that woman laying on the bed. And so, you know, that had me thinking because that could be any of us. And I was just thinking like, you know, when you're young, you feel like you're going to live forever. You feel like you'll never get sick. You're never going to die. You're, you're, you're okay. But that's not true. And I know that. So I needed to start doing better. I needed to start educating and I needed to start taking better care of myself. <clears throat> and I was just thinking like, you know, I just found the love of my life and I want to like spend the rest of my life with them. And I want us to grow old together. Like I want us to be like a hundred years old, just like, <laughs> like I want us to like, be old and still together. But I was like, oh, so if I'm not healthy and he's not healthy, then we don't get to be old together because this lady is literally 64 laying in this bed and it was only because she made bad decisions of her, for her health, right? So I was just like, okay, it's really time to take this serious. And so that's pretty much how it started for for me like working out exercising has always been part of my life and so the same thing for my boyfriend so we kind of just started watching what we ate um exercising at 5 a.m in the morning that doesn't really matter what time you work out but it's just our thing um you know just taking better care of ourselves our mental our physical just everything overall and we do the same thing for our parents. We're always telling his mom and my mom, you gotta eat healthy, you gotta do better. You know, the older you get, it's necessary. Um, it's just became, it's just now part of our lives and you feel so good. The feeling of just feeling so good every single day from making healthy choices was just like, it's time. I really want other people to feel this way. I really want to prevent all of these diseases because majority of it comes from the foods that we eat and the lack of exercise. I can go on and I can go on. <laughs> so, you know, my, 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 I saved my partner and he's like, why do you say partner? Why don't you just say my lover? I'm like, I'm not gonna say my lover. That's not professional. So I'm gonna say my partner. My partner and I, created a business. We started um, Thrive by Nana to just start helping women, to just start helping, you know, I, I said women because I'm a woman and I feel like women as a whole, like we go through so much. There's just so much. We're so focused on just pouring into everyone else. We're so busy taking care of everyone else that we don't have enough time or energy to take care of ourselves. So I'm focusing on just women. I just want women to take better care of themselves. I just want to empower women to start prioritizing their health through self-care through nutrition and through fitness. So that's how we started. That's how I started, you know, health and wellness coaching. That's how I created a YouTube channel. And we also have a Facebook group. We have about 500 women in the group right now. And I just created a YouTube channel. And we also have another group where we're having um, just women in Los Angeles meeting up once a month where we do hiking, yoga, and the very first one starts May 22nd. So I'm like super excited to just get women out there to just, you know, start empowering women, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million women to start prioritizing their health through self-care, nutrition, and fitness. It's time we do better with ourselves. It's time we live longer. It's time we, you know, take the opportunity, take the knowledge that we have and actually start executing to become the best version of ourselves. So if you're watching this video, thank you for listening to this video. Understand that it's my first one. I don't even know how to edit this thing. I'm gonna learn. Um, and tell me why you're choosing to become healthy today. What is your reason? What is your why? I can't believe I filmed my first video. I don't think I did that after all. <laughs>
again you guys thank you so much for listening to this uh all about me I, I don't think i've ever talked about myself like this before this was like a challenge thank you to my sister for giving me the idea to create an intro video like how did i not know that i needed to create an intro video like someone had to tell me anyway but can you please like and share subscribe share to your friends anyone that you think would you know be inspired by this to start bettering themselves to start prioritizing their health um go ahead down below and let me know why you're choosing to become healthy everyone has their why um i want to live longer with my partner i want to become the best version of myself that's my why what is your why